All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be solving the equation three to the power of x plus three to the power of x is equal to 12. So my only variable in this equation is x, so that's what I'm gonna be solving for. And now for my solution, So let me first rewrite my equation down here so I have a little more solving space. So my equation is three to the power of x plus three to the power of x is equal to 12. And the first thing I'm gonna do from here is factor out three to the power of x from my left-hand side. So I get three to the power of x times, well, three to the power of x divided by three to the power of x is one. So one plus one is equal to 12. And one plus one is two. So I get three to the power of x times two is equal to 12. And now I can divide both sides by two. So then these two cancel out. And I get three to the power of x is equal to six. Now from here, what I'm gonna do is take the log on both sides. So I get log three to the power of x is equal to log six. And if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front, so this turns into b times log a. In this case, I have log 3 to the power of x, so I can move x to the front. So this turns into x times log 3 is equal to log 6. Now from here, I can divide both sides by log 3. So then these two cancel out and I get X is equal to log six over log three. Now log six is the same thing as log of three times two. And if I have something in the form log A times B, this is equal to log A plus log B. So log three times two turns into log three plus log two, and I have this over log three. So now this turns into log three over log three plus log two over log three. So then these two cancel out and I get one plus log two over log three so this is my answer. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna solve the equation x to the power of 12 minus one is equal to zero. So to solve this, I'm gonna first rewrite this as x to the power of six to the power of two minus one squared is equal to zero. And the reason I'm doing this is so I can use the property a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So this turns into x to the power of six plus one times x to the power of six minus one is equal to zero. So this gives me two equations. I get x to the power of six plus one equals zero and x to the power of six minus one equals zero. Now I'm gonna do the same thing again. I'm gonna rewrite x to the power of six minus one equals zero as x to the power of three to the power of two minus one squared is equal to zero. <clears throat> so I can use this property again and get x to the power of three plus one times x to the power of three minus one is equal to zero. Now for x to the power of three minus one equals zero, I can, I'm gonna read this as x to the power of three minus one to the power of three equals zero. So I can use the property a to the power of three minus b to the power of three is equal to a minus b times a squared plus a b plus b squared. So this turns into a minus b times a squared plus a plus one is equal to zero. Sorry, this turns into x minus one times x squared plus x plus one is equal to zero, which gives me yet another two equations. So now I have x minus one equals zero and x squared plus x plus one equals zero. So for x minus one equals zero, all I have to do is add one on both sides and I get x is equal to one. 
And for x squared plus x plus 1 equals 0, I can use the quadratic formula. So by using it, I get x is equal to negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 3i over 2. So these are two more solutions. And now we aren't done yet because we also have to solve these. So now I have x to the power of 3 plus 1 is equal to 0. And I'm going to subtract 1 on both sides, so I get x to the power of 3 is equal to negative 1, meaning x is also equal to negative 1. So this is another solution. Now for x to the power of 6 plus 1 equals 0, I'm going to again subtract 1 on both sides. So I get x to the power of 6 is equal to negative 1. And if I take the 6th root, I get x is equal to 6 root of negative 1. which is equal to negative 1 to the power of 1 over 6. So now, the 6th root of negative 1 is, say, the We know that i is equal to the square root of negative 1, which is equal to negative 1 to the power of 1 half. So negative 1 to the power of 1 over 6 is the same thing as negative 1 to the power of 1 half minus something. So now 1 over 6, or I should say 1 half minus 1 over 6, is equal to 1 over 3. So 1 over 6 plus 1 over 3 is equal to 1 half. We know this, meaning we have negative 1 to the power of 1 over 6 and this plus or sorry I should 1 over 2 minus 1 over 3 is what we can rewrite 1 over 6 as. Now this is the same thing as 1 half plus negative 1 over 3. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So this is going to equal negative 1 to the power of 1 half times negative 1 to the power of negative 1 over 3. Negative 1 to the power of 1 half is the square root of negative 1, which is equal to i. So we get i times negative 1 to the power of negative 1 over 3 which is the same thing as 1 over negative 1 to the power of 1 over 3, which is equal to negative 1. So I get i times negative 1, which is equal to negative i, which is my final solution.